The only place where you can be happy is when you're living now, when you're available to experience life as it passes through you. That's where joy comes, and we help families to see and to practice that and to experience it. Those concepts of time and partnership, I think, are some of the most valuable tools we pack on to people. Our objective was never to make veterans into church members. <clears throat> Our objective was to help veterans become free from whatever bound them. Uh, in Jesus' first sermon in his hometown, he came saying that his purpose was to unshackle people, to liberate them from whatever had them stuck, and to give them new vision where they couldn't see to go forward. And so, uh, as people of Jesus, our objective has been to help people see a new possible future. Uh, it, and maybe they would be interested in other things going on at the church, but that our objective was to liberate them the way that we think Jesus would. As our family grew, it made it very difficult to leave the children. Uh, it made it very difficult being gone, um, watching how much they grew while I was deployed. And then when I came back, they didn't necessarily understand um, how a father can leave and when he comes back, what that's really like. They grew so accustomed to having Jennifer around that it was hard for me to rekindle that type of relationship with the children. When I, when I first met my dad, I was two years old. He had come home uh, on furlough. Um, while he was away, well, I was born while he was away. And so while he was away, my mom and I lived in an apartment. There was a picture of my dad that sat on the chest. And every night I would tell him, good night. The first night he was home, Mama told me to go tell him good night. I climbed up on a little chair and I got the picture down and I kissed him good night. That's the same thing these kids are dealing with as Dad comes home or Mom comes home. We want to do what we can to, to be a better family. Uh, always ways to improve um, and the different opportunities that we have to participate in the different programs uh, through um, mentorship through discussions with a, an adult therapist the the extracurricular activities of um, team building concept whether it just be working with um, science projects uh, with our kids um, the fellowship with other families uh, who we would never have met considering that we probably worked in different buildings or locations, whatever the case may be. We went upstairs and we had the meeting with Dr. Dan um, and we did something that we had never done before, which is uh, probably exercising your demons sounds a little too harsh, but working or talking through some things that we had never sat down and talked through before. And at the end of it, um, Margaret said, are we coming back? And I said, well, we sure can, we can, and yeah. And we've been coming back since. Living Free has uh, provided a safe haven for veterans to come and to talk about issues that they may have in their private lives or their personal lives that talking to somebody outside the military wouldn't understand. They don't understand the core reasoning for that. But coming here and speaking with other veterans and people who understand veterans, there's kind of a consensus of knowledge that we know exactly where you're coming from and this is how we can help. Now, without coming to the group, those resources wouldn't be here. So having those resources has been really beneficial to not only myself, um, to my wife, but the people that are here and you get to talk about and make those um, connections with. I know what you're thinking. Who pays for all of this? This is an expensive program, and it is. 
we have been fully funded uh, since 2014 through community foundations that we attained nationally and locally. Uh, the church, though, has provided its space and its people. The volunteers are really what makes this thing work. And they provide something that is invaluable to these veterans. The veterans can't believe that civilians want to sit down with them and have dinner. They can't believe that they would take time out of their own lives to invest in their families. And they come every week and they provide something that no one else can give. And that's what makes this program work. So if you would like to know more about Living Free programs, you can visit us at livingfreetogether.org and contact us if you'd like, because this is a, a group, this is a program that provides life for families in our United States.